Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. I am Samantha with Jolie Flips Vintage. Adam is not here with me today. He is taking care of my dad back at the apartment. So I'm going to just quickly take a breather and go outside and do my own therapy, which is either antiquing or, you know, just flipping for profit at um, a thrift store. Of course, antique malls are a little pricier. They are resellers trying to sell stuff that they found. So, but sometimes every once in a while, you're gonna find good deals. A lot of them are getting rid of their boots and they will uh, give you some deals on items or maybe there's just something you want in your collection. Today, I'm not shopping for reselling necessarily. Although if I see something, I will purchase it if I feel that it is worth um, the pickup so that I can flip it. But I'm looking more for my collection. I'm still on the hunt for a really big nubby. A nubby, I'm looking for a bittersweet swung vase, a very large one, and I'm willing to pay a lot of money for one for my collection. But let's head on over to Hillsborough Antique Mall just quickly and we will see if there is anything there that we can buy and either flip or purchase for my collection. Come with me and I'll see you there. I've got one mission and one mission only. Find the old treasures and get them to new vintage lovers' homes. We here at Jolie Flips Vintage pick through every location we visit with a fine tooth comb. Be it thrift shops, garage or estate sales, vintage markets, or antique malls, if there are secondhand luxury pieces lurking around, we will surely find them. So pull up a seat, get cozy, and Jolie flip with us. So when you come to the Pompano Festival Marketplace, you can either turn right and there's a kosher grocery store, Dollar Tree Jamboree, that's the West End, or you can turn left, and I'm going to show you, you got to go all around the building to get to the antique mall. Now you can shop inside, there's things like, not really a lot of vintage, just a lot of, you know, jewelry, things that I, I don't, I'm not really into. There's a demented escape room, just like cheap jewelry, you know, and watches and flea market stuff. Typical Florida flea market stuff, like swap shop, if you've been to the swap shop. I know my window is so dirty. Haven't had a chance to really wash it with everything going on, but it's been raining too, so there's just no point. But yeah, we're gonna head on in there. I just parked. Let's see what we can find. At the condo, there is a breakfast bar and my mother and I got rid of the two stools that were originally there because they were just so bulky and big with a back that I thought was very cold when you sat on it, it was metal. I'm gonna ask Adam if he wants these two upholstered ones. I don't like mahogany colored um, wood and this has some wear there, which is fine, but it says it's upholstered and they're $20 per stool. So I'm gonna ask him if he wants these for the breakfast bar. It's pretty soft, but all right. So this is some stuff that they put outside. $85 for these, I don't know why. They're um, really, really plastic and not in great condition. Let's see. All right, nothing outside that I love. That chest is pretty awesome. $75 for a huge chest. Wonderful vintage 1961 Myrtle Carom and Crokinole, um, Crokinole game board. I don't know what that is. I see no, my, my Let's see here. some probably made in China glass pieces. All right, let's head on in and see. Okay, so as soon as I walked in, I made it left, you guys. And um, you've seen Adam and I back here before, but I found this vase. And I don't know if it's a decanter and it's missing the topper, but it's $24 and it says pink speckled art glass. But this is actually a Scavo vase and I really like it. So it might actually be a Murano, like a Cenedese or something like that. So I'm going to grab it and see if I can get a deal on that. And we'll put it there. I love Scavo. Scavo is Italian for excavated. So it's supposed to look like it's excavated. Sometimes they look like they're dirty and, um... I like that. These are some salt cellars, some little, well, this one has a handle on it. What is, I wanna see this. I love um, flower frogs, the metal ones. This one does not have a price on it. Uh, most things back here don't have prices on it. 
This is an enamel box too. Let's see if it's signed. It says it is. Um, yeah, I guess so, but I can't tell who made that. And here's a blue, kind of like a carnival glass, an electric blue candle holder. No price on that one. And then I see something else. See, because my eyes always see things that others don't. I'm try to get that. Okay, this is what I was trying to get. It's actually a Royal Copenhagen. Um, and it's numbered, see beautifully. And it is $95, well priced for resale. Uh, unfortunately not for me to resell i have to try to remember that i'm here though for my own collection mostly but i thought it was a skerrick at first that's very cool and different for a royal copenhagen but i'm gonna leave that okay guys so i see a couple of things that i do like for myself here this one's really cool it's almost like a decoupage i don't know but it's got a loose like hand handle could it be bakelite um there's a little cute bee on it and um, there's no price on it. I just love the closure, too. So I'm going to ask the price on that. And then here is a wood inlay Italian box. It's huge. It's a, it's a um, music box. I mean, that's really big. But you know what? It's really kind of not in good shape underneath too much. So I actually am going to leave this, but this is gorgeous really is i don't really know where i'm gonna fit something like that but this one i'm gonna find out the price of it and i also want to find out the price of this amphora style vase it looks italian i don't know i think that's a number underneath maybe 11 or 91 i don't know really like it so let's find out the price of these two items okay so i went ahead and passed on the amphora vase however i got this one for 20 because it has some issues at the bottom. It's missing one of the little um, feet. But um, the Scava I got for $18, you guys. And that is, uh, I believe it's a Chenadese, a Murano. So that's going to be good. And there was a little dollar bin where I found these Millie Fury earrings and hat pins. So $2 for those. So let's bring it up front so we can keep shopping. All right. So we are good. I have uh, a bin now. I'm number 24. Look at this pillow, you guys. Um, $2.45, antique Iroquois, um, Native American raised beadwork pillow. This is crazy, it's awesome. Look at the detail on it, and it's stiff. It's so old. I'm wearing, um, I'm wearing a mask to avoid the dust from hitting my face, and I could even smell how old it is. Now, if you watched my last video here, I wanted this so bad, and I still do. I just don't know if I would actually wear it. It's 65. They're, they have 20% off now. They took the bag. I'm going to go ahead and get it. All right. I saw some glass. I'm in a booth with some glass and other things that's a fairy lamp it says as is it's a santa viking uh, or a santa amberina fairy lamp i wonder why it says as is oh it's chipped back there it's pretty nasty chip too unfortunately that's sad so sad all right They want 60 on that. See some Blanco on that side. Let's see how much this little paperweight is. 20, yeah, I know. These little dogs are cute for 14. All right, I see some enamel flowers and $12. Ooh, that one has a stem. 14, 12, with 20% off. It's about $9. That's a good deal. Grab those. This one's kind of nice. 
I'm gonna stick with the enamel. Grab those head vase here for 48 with 20% off. Just pretty good condition. Adorable box. I just turned it over $25 minus 20%. So we'll leave that. I guess I am doing reselling stuff today. <laughs> we'll get these because those are worth it. Um, I think that these will go up in value as time goes by. Just make sure the backing is always intact. These are good. So I've made my way all the way to the back in the left of their bathrooms. Um, just to see what they've got going on back here. Look at this wedding kimono. It's so gorgeous with the bird and floral features. And they usually have pretty good deals on artwork back here. So I like to just, just take a glimpse. Look at this Art Nouveau thing. It's $195, it's so nice. Yeah. Look at that bench. $55 discounted, it's nice. All right. Let's go look at other things. I love this. <gasps> look at the detail. <sighs> wow. Wow, it's actually, I think that's pretty modern actually, but it's so gorgeous. This is Celadon here. Like a lidded dish. For 18. Beautiful Celadon mushrooms here. $25 from Mexico. Salt and pepper shakers. What are those back there? Well, they're like little Mexican pottery, chicken and horse. Mexican folk art, chick and donkey, $25. That's so cute. I feel like that's part of a bigger set. Does that not look like Jonathan Adler or what? <laughs> Got lots of Tanella, so I'm gonna skip on those. Let's go here, see what else. I'm looking for Opaline also. I tried bidding with uh, one of Crazy Lamp Lady's knickknacks shows the other day she had a opaline kind of a big lidded bowl and i wanted to um buy that but i got outbid but she's got great eye doesn't she right so now i'm on the lookout for an opaline something something like that oh, look at these plates Talk about mid-century. They want $95. Majolica made in France. Oh, PV made in... Mm, PV. Doesn't that mean Peasantville Village? Yeah. Usually you'll find Peasant Village in Italy, from Italy. But they do travel all around um, the different countries. France, I believe, is one of them. Like sometimes you'll find vases that look like Batosi, but it says PV on it. And that's Peasant Village. Okay, these are some clears. Let's see. Just looking for very different, unique items. And of course, my bittersweet nubby. The day I find that thing, it's out there. It's waiting for me to pick it up. <laughs> it's out there. Pretty shell art. Probably what I should start doing with my shells. I've got tons of shells from Sanibel and Captiva. Adam and I have actually dug for them. We did um, try to do a show on whatnot very early on when we first started whatnot. We weren't popular and whatnot. Not that we are now, but people know us a little more. And we tried to put our beautiful finds right after the hurricane, Big E and Hurricane and Sanibel. And we put them in these vintage trinket boxes and we're trying to, we were trying to auction those off, but it was not a successful show. I wonder if I um, pull those out again because they're still 
they're still all in the trinket boxes. You know, I maybe just attempt to do that show again. See what the results are. These are old handheld mirrors. That's a wild creamer. Oh my gosh, I love it. $20. Small tiger creamer missing both. 20. Mm, it's cute. This is like old milk glass. I mean, that is neat. $25. Oof. See if there's any discounts on this booth. No. I might have gotten that. We'll see next time. If it's still there. This is milk glass too. That's so old. Does that say that right? Three dollars? Oh. Well, we'll have to pick that up. It's not cracked or anything. It's only three dollars. It's really nice. We'll get that. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I'm gonna buy for my own collection. Here I am reselling, buying things to resell. This is a hat pin holder for six dollars as is. Why? Oh, it's got a crack at the bottom and up here, so discounted. This is kind of neat. $35. It's like a squished bowl. I think I picked that up last time too, didn't I? Take our little milk glass thing here. So I'm hearing you guys loud and clear. One of my subscribers and friends, I really should just call her friend because she's really so sweet. Um, Stacy, she has asked me to um, let you guys know and let her know what I plan to resell something for and what I expect to get. So something like this, I expect to get about 18 to $20 for on whatnot. eBay has really slowed for me, but I gotta tell you, I have not been putting the effort in with my dad's transplant and my job lately. Um, we've been going out to conferences and I really haven't. And I've been trying to focus on my website more than using a um, platform like eBay where they take a huge percentage out so um, from your sale. So I've been focusing on the website a lot. So I encourage you to take a look at jolieflipsvintage.com and if there's anything there that you wanna purchase, purchase it on there rather than our eBay store. Um, not everything on the eBay is on the website, vice versa. But if there's anything that you see in the videos, of course, let me know through the email. Um, and I'll let you know um, how much something is and I'll send you a PayPal invoice. And if there's anything on the website that you find that you like, but you just feel like it is just a little more, you know, a little outside of your budget, please shoot me an email through there. There's a contact um, option. I believe it's on the way bottom. Somewhere on the website, is you can contact me. But it goes to the jolieflips at AOL.com anyway. So... Um, I get notified. You can also, I think we could chat on there too. This is called Wave. You guys, look at this teapot. $18. Is that not a gorgeous teapot or what? If I, if I was in the market for teapots right now, I'd pick that up. But I'm not. It's pottery. Okay. But yeah, so I'm just trying to get away from all of the eBay stuff and um, but of course I'm still selling on there I just I just don't like all of the you know platform fees I mean it's just a little insane for my taste I, I do think eBay is a great company it's just I do have to think about myself as a reseller as well look at this egg shaped paperweight Got that Favreau glass look. There's a butterfly paperweight that's real cute. Look at that butterfly in there for 25. And then there's this one. 
And speaking of Crazy Lamp Lady, I did just also win an auction of one of her paperweights that I'm very excited to pick up. I believe it. She, she said there was a sea of copper flex at the bottom, and I'm really excited to get that in the mail. I like paperweights. I collect them um, quite a bit for myself. It's a cool little Art Nouveau dish. Solid brass, it says, $24. Solid brass. Okay. It's a really nice cloisonne um, lamp for 125. Really pretty lusterware vase back there, and then there's this. It's probably Italian. I love it. Eighteen dollars. Hmm. I have those already, so leave it. There's some Bakelite stuff in here. It's like Bakelite Buddha face. It's all Bakelite in there. Jan Carlin original, okay. Let's see. $25. Cool. All Bakelite, huge collection. I guess there's some more here. Wow, it's like the biggest bake light collection I've ever seen. Is this great? Little snuff bottle. 57. Alright. Let's keep going. Mike can find some deals here. It's pinch bowl. I wonder if it's Aura 4. I'm not sure. I know they do one like that. It's an owl paperweight. 78. Cool. What else? Some uranium. Love these dishes. The reason I don't pick them up at um, Antique Mall is 68. It's because um, I find them in antique. I mean, I find them thrifting all the time. So, you know, rather than pay antique mall prices on those. So pretty. Oh, man. I'm dying to find one of these thrifting. I have not found the cut to cranberry yet. I have these. I've got three of these vintage pumpkin candle holders. They're reversible for smaller candles at the bottom. I have those. I've got three of them at home. It's cool. Salt cellars. It's cherry lamp for 39 but you could easily get these for um, $18 to $20 online. This one is the um, Indiana glass one. Look at Poshmark if you're looking for those. Check out Poshmark. This is pretty rose and ivy bowl. They want 85 for it. Here is Adam's favorite cabinet with all of the uranium in it. And I'm always, I always tell you guys this, I'm drawn to this section all the time. 45. Let's see. Ooh, interesting. Oh my, that is the largest Rinconata I've seen. That's $135. Probably well worth it. Large uh, vintage De Rosa Rinconata elephant. Gorgeous. It's beautiful Mexican bowl. 123 for it. This reminds me of Arthur Court. And it sure is for 115 with the stone, green stone eye. That bowl is real nice. Ooh, for 95. Oh, it's Ken Edwards. 
I always really love Ken Edwards because you know that his stuff is going to be lead free. Lead free. Major plus. Oh, it looks like a lot of people bought stuff out of here. This thing was filled last time I was here. All right. Got some Juliana pieces up in there, I see. Let's see what they got here. This is another booth I love visiting. So drawn to glass. It's controlled. Bubbles are glass ashtray for 30. Smoky amber. Global Rosina Walked Meister Cat Figurine. Wow. Nice. $41. I like it. There's that pink opaline. See something like that. Look at the ladies. Oh my gosh. How beautiful. Let's see if I can look underneath. Can't open it. I have to ask. Cambridge Crown. And I don't need it, but it's beautiful. Found one of these similar ones while I was thrifting. They want $4.95 for the whole set. Nice. That little cat is adorable. Oh my god, I love Cloissonet. 485 comes with the stand. For the pair. Oh, that's not too bad. Guess if I had like a fancier home. <laughs> I'm getting a thrift store recliner chair delivered. It's it's a love seat chair delivered at seven, so I'm gonna be a little more speedier. Oh, is this Mola art? Oh, look, that's all torn. Oh, that's nice. Two thirty-five. It's got damage though. That's Art Nouveau. Two ten. It's beautiful. Yeah, I'm kind of digging this back here. Wow. $79 Art Nouveau, it says. That would be just for me. Isn't that beautiful? It's got like an atomic design more than an Art Nouveau. It says Art Nouveau. Love that. I don't need it. Some paperweights over here. Kind of digging this one because it looks like it's like bleeding. Oh, it's actually signed. Um, oh, it's the cat, Kathness, Kateness. Can never say that right. Paperweight, fifty-eight. It's pretty. Ooh, love it. Um, let's see what else. It's pretty pinched pottery. Eighteen. Stuff for my own collection. This is nice. It has an original sticker on it. 24. Feels Italian. Oh, it is Italian. They're saying it's a Batosi for 65. It's not signed anywhere. Oh, there it is. It says Italy. They almost always say Italy on it. This is nice. I don't know for $65. let us look that up. Okay, well, it's selling for $40 online. So um, we'll leave that for now. But that's a cool piece. And I didn't really check the condition of the one that I saw selling for $40 online. But oh my, I like this one too. Wait a minute. This is, oh, it's cracked. 
36 Brent Brentley that is chipped over here but it's so pretty that's hard to sell when it's chipped that's cool check glass just looking for different things things that make people go oh my gosh that's beautiful too it's actually ceramic egyptian theme 80 unsigned why would someone not sign something like that that's really gorgeous I would sign it if I made it. This person has really cool stuff. Different. This face is nice. A Lutz. Like a Lutz. It says 36. Is it signed? No. It's quite a lot of scuffing at the bottom. Like Richard Lutz. Lutz or Lutz. I have a piece that I have to get appraised that I think is... But um, this is signed. It says, and it's crystalline. That's really gorgeous. 65. And this, this person likes Potosi style stuff. 65 from Spain. They look like cranes and giraffes and stuff. This looks like. If it's glass, it looks like a Murano, but it's not glass. It's um, 32, made in France for Don Whittler black pink leaf. Okay, I think that's really nice. I think I would have picked that up if it was glass. I have something similar. Oh, I love this. This is very mid-century. Brown glaze, 39. It's a shiny glaze. I wish it was more of a matte glaze, but it's a copper light glaze. And then this enamel plate is nice. It's copper. I want 24. That's neat. Just looking for the different things. It's cobalt blue. Candle holders are cool. $20 each. Oh, it, it got hot in here. It got really hot. These little littles. Little littles, I call them. Oh, look at this. Oh, it's signed. Costa Boda by Bergstrom 23. It's pretty. This is Raku. Oh no, it's, oh, I was gonna say, why is it only $35? It says the ear is repaired. Oh man. 1988, the ear is repaired. Because I would buy that if they gave it to me for 20. That repaired ear is kinda, uh, Person has a really cool collection of glass. Look at this bottle. Yeah, this is definitely Italian. 40 painted vintage Italian. Let me look that up. Okay, let's see. I found one on eBay for 35 and they want 40. It's a nice bottle though. Cool. Get a general idea of the things that you like. This is a little wall pocket. No, it's not. It's an old eyeglass um, case from the from the seventies. I thought it was a wall pocket. <laughs> Moves in my mind. It's alabaster for ten, and it's signed. This is Patricia. There's some perfume bottles back here that are smoky and neat. Neato. $10 only. Oh, well. Oh, 
Well, okay. We'll get these. They're definitely from the 50s. We'll, we'll get these. Wow, look at this chair. It says a pair of them. So there's one on the back also for $8.50. So ornate. Is that an iris? Is that what they call them? Iris flowers? Wow. <laughs> I have to tell myself just because I could, I probably could buy them doesn't mean that I need them. <laughs> There's a pot here that I saw the other day and I just totally skipped it or it slipped my mind. I liked it. This pot. Winton wear. It's badly chipped and cracked. Don't need it. Don't need it, Sam. This looks like a peasantville. Italian. Yeah, signed it says. Produced in hand paints in Italy. That looks like a like a peasantville set. See it has the plate also. But I don't think it is peasantville, but it's made in Italy, so it's got a similar theme going. Look at this. It's damaged. I really like Weeping Gold. It's just not as popular as it used to be. Um, the set here is 22 and the vase is 16. So they just don't resell really well, but I'm going to hold on to mine in hopes that that market picks up again because there was a moment. There was a moment for Weeping Gold sometime last year on live auction and things like that. Oh, look at this. Carlsbad Austria art. Like Victoria Carlsbad. For $2.50. It's nice. Seems to be 20% off this area. Alright, let's see. Twenty percent off. Well, what do you got for us? Let's see. Purses. Mesh coin purse for 85. Very nice. Stuff back here. Oh my gosh. Look at all of these. I'm gonna sit and look. I'm literally going to sit on the ground so that I could see if there are prices underneath these. I'm gonna ask for the key. Okay, so I was just told that um, Lois was really sweet enough to open this for me so I can look and she does work for the gentleman who owns this booth and anything that's above $25 is gonna be 50 off. So if I find a paperweight that's $75, it's gonna be 50 off of that, you guys. Okay, you heard it. So let's have fun. Let's look for the really good ones, okay? All right, 240 for that Murano, so it'd be like 120. Okay. There's this one. 375, but the prices are super high though already. Mm, it's a four hundred dollar paperweight, so it'll be two hundred. That might be worth it. I gotta see. Hmm. All right, let's keep looking. I don't even know where to start. I like this one. This one fifty. I mean, I'm not looking for like extreme deals, but it's 150 for the little paperweight. It's a lot. And I did ask if he would actually make deals, and she said she can ask. 175 for that one, so half. End of day paperweight. 
this would be 20. It's not in good shape though. It's pretty, pretty bad. There's some here. I'm gonna move the art piece. Um, and I'm seeing this one. Yeah, they're already sky high, the prices, so it's not going to be, oh, let's see, amber glass. This one sounds like something, is in it? Yeah. So 150 on that one. There's this one. That'll be 250 on that. This is very pretty. Oh, and it's only $5. It's not missing any stones. So we'll grab this one. And there's a little dog here. Oh, missing stones though. If you guys see any, let me know because I'll come back for them for you missing a blue stone I don't like when they're missing stones because I don't like having to explain hey they're missing a stone you know I would rather try to get you guys things that are totally intact this is enamel but it's different it's eight dollars I'm gonna grab this one it's very pretty for five what about anything here this one's real nice Um, 18 Damascene for 8 I have a lot of Damascene we're going to get this one and then we'll come over here and see if we see any more it's pretty 12 a butterfly. Wow. For eight. It's just cool the way the wires are in between, right? Not loving it though. <laughs> My little too picky. This little sparkle bottle inside. This is so nice. 25 I love it you know what I don't see a lot here like West Germany pieces I wonder if they just don't have them or if they're just selling out I bet you they're selling out because I can't find them at the thrift stores anymore let me put that brooch down for a second look at this copper dish it's pretty large vase type with flower raised flower 125 wow look at that vase it's gorgeous oh wow uh oh gosh, I'm gonna drop stuff. This comes off. Oh, it opens. Wow. 79. Brass Ute Ashtray. Super cool. This is nice. Nice little ashtray. I love the red color. These hat pin holders are cool. I have one for myself. Some really cool hair receivers here for 19. Those are really good prices. Very nice paintwork. This is a vintage Christmas tree um, canister. These jars always remind me of Tiffany from Thrifting Vegas. She likes those collects them in fact I believe it's nice it's that electric blue carnival glass it's a nice tumble up All right, let's see what's in the case a little chihuahua there oh Pink elephants. 
this is what do they call this milk crust <laughs> i don't know uh 75 white edged it's like a hat let's see what else they got in this booth Ooh, sterling and enamel 16. 25 for that enamel flower. This is like a whole set, 135. You get the hair receiver. This might be missing a lid though. This is a cool set. Nice little vanity set. Wow, the Karak tray is 50. I never see them in great condition at the thrift store. Let's see what a good condition one looks like. <laughs> Some kitchen stuff. Always looking for Florentine things. I like to take my time. Oh, it's very old dust bellows. I want 125 for that. Is Marilyn Monroe wearing a potato sack? Is that an original photo? That's so cute. $60. Not an original photo. Like, is that... Did they Photoshop a potato sack on her? Or did she really do that? Oh, this is nice. Green glass atomizer for $28. I mean, the only thing is that the pump doesn't work. Well, this is a very fun booth. And look at this. Lolita Lampica. I've had their perfume before. 350. What a great deal on that whole outfit. There was like an a blue apple atomizer perfume. It smelled like sugar. I love that. Oh, this, this is a fun booth. I feel really good in here. Like cozy. Wow, look at this dish. No price on it. Maybe it's inside. No. I like that dish, but here's a Florentine box. No price on it. Let's see inside. Oh no, no price. I'll have to ask them about it. Yeah, we'll ask. We'll just let them know that it's from the um, Jeff, J-E-F, is the dealer. It's really cute. Is there a price in here? No. I want to buy your stuff. <laughs> I want to buy your stuff, Jeff. $15 for this gorgeous thing. It might actually be a locket. That's a good deal on that. It's pretty old. Let's look at the clasp. There's no clasp. Okay, I'll grab that. And then, like, I want to buy your stuff. Looks quarantine also. Forty-five. Oh, it's a pair of Victorian plaques. It's not bad at all. Oh, look at this bag. It's 
45. It's really gorgeous. Okay, I actually just met the the um I actually just met her. It's Janie. J E F. This is so nice. She doesn't want to be in it because um she doesn't want to be in the video because she's just camera shy, but she's really lovely. And she did want me to mention that if you were to buy a lot of things, she would uh, give you a good deal. This is nice. All right, I want to show you a little bit of what she does. I told her I would wait till she <laughs> left to, to um, show it. Let me put this back where it won't fall. She makes all these types of purses. And she says she's in the process of making one for Elvis, which you know I'm going to come back and get. And she makes like, for instance, where is it? She just had it here look she makes that 125 for that and it's extra large look at that isn't that gorgeous i'm in love 80s mermaid barbie barbie just chilling she's 59 dollars. i like her hair that is very long hair did i go in here I don't remember. Not too much in here though. I'm straying. Let's see. Yeah, I think I came through here already. Hey okay, guys, we're gonna wrap up because they're about to close. This is kind of cool. This I thought was Raku. 28, it says lava vase, cobalt, splash. I don't know. I like how artsy it is. I have these. I'm just curious to see how many, how much they're selling for. 20. Just to know what I should price mine as. All right. So we're going to wrap it up. Just looking for any last minute things. This looks like bone. Doesn't have a price on it. It's really intricate. I figure if there's no price on something, maybe they don't really want to sell it. Maybe they love it so much that they want to keep it. All right, so this is my haul. This is what I actually did buy, and it looks probably less than what you saw me pick up. That's because it is. I did have to put things away when I got to the register because my total was like about $300. And I was like, wait a minute. I don't think I got $300 worth of stuff because there were discounts on some of the vendors. And um, I was told that there is a store-wide policy that anything less than $25, their discounts don't apply. And I was like, oh, I didn't see that. And then they told me to look at the fine print of each of their signs, each vendor signs, and it says it. Unless something is over $25, the discounts don't apply. So, so this is what I ended up getting. These bottles were $10 each. I think they're really retro and very pretty. And they're hand-painted or sponged. So I did get these. Um, I ended up buying this kind of a rinconata style it is ceramic bunny the reason i bought it i wasn't going to um is because i dropped it and it broke the ear broke but it broke clean so i'm going to repair it and just keep it for myself i suppose or maybe try to sell it repaired i don't know it was six dollars my bad it fell and it broke this one i got from a vendor eros e-r-o-s when you get there he has really cool stuff um, he thought this was wood. I mean, he said wood on the tag. He wrote wood. And I told him this is not wood. This is like a kind of like a Mexican pottery. And he said, no, 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 it's wood. I'm like, no, it's not. Look, there's a sticker and it says uh, Cali, Colombia, El Palomar. I was like, I know this. This is Mexican pottery. And he was like, oh, so but I ended up getting it for real cheap. I don't remember how much, but it was less than 10 because I just ripped off all the tags. Sorry, guys. Some of them still have the tags on them. I picked this one up on the way out. It's a little butt vase. <laughs> little a cat butt vase for $9. Planter. And then I picked this up. It's celluloid, uh, cellulose acetate. 
Um, upon closer inspection, there looks to be a wooden bead that was glued in there. I don't know if that's original, but you could see the space between the bead and where there might have been maybe a rhinestone. But So that's a bummer. I didn't think of that when I picked it up, but it's still very pretty, and I think I paid $12 for that. So I still think that's pretty sellable, if that's a word. I bought these Millie Fury earrings for a dollar. This was the $5 brooch. That's just so pretty. I got the little hat pin for a dollar. And I got these enamel brooches that didn't end up having the discount like I was saying. So they were $12 each, I believe. I think this one might have been $15. That's okay. This was $3. See? Wave is the name of the vendor. I did buy this. I think this was like... $15 it's marked and he didn't know who the person was that made it so I have to do some research if you guys recognize this it's like two V's let me know because I don't know very cool I got this Jack in the Pulpit frost, frosted vase and this Scavo which you knew about way in the beginning and then this bottle from Eros and for $15 again I don't know if this stopper goes with it but it works because they look like different tones but he said no it does it goes with it but he just called it a hand-blown bottle see it's kind of slippy there but i don't know i liked it i thought hey it works so my total spend was about 200 it was 202 dollars so tell me how do you think i did obviously oh wait i missed one oh wait i missed a couple I bought this. This is sixteen dollars. It was a, um, you know, one of those micro mosaic pens that I like to collect. I don't know if it's super old, but I loved the little daisies in there. I thought those were cool. Sunflower, also. And then I bought this, which I'm not sure who makes it. I think it's Pilgrim, but I got it for ten dollars. I thought it was really neat. The colors of on the glass. So, yeah. So let me know how I did. If there's anything here. That you want to purchase let me know just shoot me an email jolieflips at aol.com and i'll let you know what my price is of course there'll be some shipping costs but um but yeah and i'll send you a paypal invoice oh i hope you enjoy this video please subscribe like share comment i love talking to you all and until next time probably a thrifting video next